Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me in another soap making video. My name is Tamika and this is the Soap Throne. Today we are going to be making another 10 pound soap and this time it will be my Lux Lavender soap. For the Lux Lavender I use Brambleberry's Hungarian Lavender Essential Oil. So I changed up the formula a little bit for this one. Um, I added canola oil in addition to the olive oil because with the olive oil and the floral essential oil the batter tends to speed up so I put in the canola oil to slow it down a little bit my special feature today is lavender infused olive oil my colorants will be the green chrome oxide Queen's purple Michael mica <laughs> not Michael Queen's Purple Mica from Brambleberry and Titanium Dioxide. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add the lye solution. So I'm going to start by hand stirring. I'm not going to take this very far to emulsification because like I said, once that essential oil gets in, it will accelerate even though I've got the canola oil. I still want to give myself as much time as I possibly can to work with this. All right, that is very well emulsified. As you can see, it's not quite at trace. Well, just a teensy bit at trace, but that's just where I want it to be. And this amount will be the white. So I'm going to go ahead and add my titanium dioxide. Then I'm going to start by hand stirring. This will be the green. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I know it does not take much of the green oxide. Very lovely green. And to this one, we're going to add the Queen's Purple Mica. I'm hoping that it will be enough. We All shall. right, I'm back. So I've got the purple blended in nicely. I've got my green, I've got my white. Now is the time to add the essential oil. I'm starting with the green because I don't want to mix the purple yet because I am thinking I'm going to do an in the pot swirl and I don't want that to solidify yet. I also waited to do the white because with the titanium dioxide, it tends to get thicker a little faster. So, oops, I just spilled some of my precious essential oil. All right, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. <laughs> the last but not least is the purple. I don't have to worry about it falling out of here, the essential oil, so I can be a little more vigorous, but not too vigorous. Okay, so now I'm just going to give it that. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Oh, okay, this would not be a soap thrown video without that bump camera. I think it helps you know where you are in case you got lost. Okay, I'm going to scrape this and I will be back in a moment. All right, so we are back. As you can see, I didn't really put a decoration at the top, but I'm still going to swirl things around a little bit. Just leave it the way it is. I didn't really feel the need to save any for the top. Plus, I wasn't sure how um, it would react. But I have to tell you from this and other experiences, putting a slower moving oil does make a big difference. And I say that because I use a pretty steep water discount to um, aid to solidity for the bar. And um, sometimes that water discount can cause 
the bar or can cause the batter to um, um, thicken up pretty quickly as well. So that slow moving oil really does help. Just in case you're interested in soap making, I will spray the top with my glitter here from Bramble Berry. All right, so there we have it. My Lux Lavender, can't wait to see how it looks on the inside. So I will be back shortly. I'm gonna let this sit for at least 24 hours, possibly longer, and then I will be back to show you the cutting. All right, everyone, we are back for the cut, for the splitting and the cutting, and this is the result. I think it came out lovely. Here's one side, and we'll get to see the inside in just a moment. Here's the first log. It's going through. Ooh. I think that's looking rather interesting. I should probably mention too, this has not been 24 hours at all. It's been more like maybe not even 12, to tell you the truth. No, actually, let me take that back. It's been about 14 hours, I think. But that was all it needed. It solidified nicely. Here's the next one. Ah, lovely. All right, and then with that, we will move directly to the cutting. Lux Lavender is one of my top sellers, and I always find lavender so interesting because, ooh, look at that. I like it, yes. I find it interesting because people don't have in-between feelings about lavender. They either love it or they cannot stand it. I've never heard anybody go, it's okay. <laughs> they would say, oh, I love lavender. It's my favorite. Or they say, I don't like it at all. Yes, I'm liking the way it's turned out this time. I mean, I always like it, but I've, this is one that I really kind of do a different design with pretty much every time I make it. When I started, it was just purple and white. And was more, had more of a marbly look. I think I'll link the video. Whoops. I think I'll link the video up top so that you can see. If you want to see that video. It was actually one of my first YouTube videos. And it's pretty short. I think it's about four or five minutes, if that long. So I got news that I'm going to get a little visit from my five-year-old niece today. I'm looking forward to it. She likes to paint, and I like to paint. So it usually goes pretty well. We have nice visits, and it's been a while since I've seen her, so it should be really nice. I'm curious to see what this next log will look like. I wonder if they're all going to be similar, or if each log will have its own sort of look. I would assume it will be similar, but again, since I'm still getting used to these larger batches, I don't know. I'm not certain pretty similar but this has more green so the house will be smelling like lavender for a few days until this fragrance calms down a little bit I really like that one I like the amount of white in it I like that that looks kind of like a little leaf and maybe a tulip or something. <laughs> Time for that middle loaf. We're gonna see what this has in store for us. So one thing that I've noticed, oops, 
soap making is that um the lavender can sometimes fade away in the cold process soap since it's an essential oil I've never used the lavender fragrance oil so I can't speak for that mm, excuse me so what I like to do is I keep it closed up in a container and that seems to help it hold on to its scent after it's finished curing of course and oops I just want to thank everyone for watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing Ooh, this one has much more purple than any of the others I've seen please like this video and if you would like to receive notifications okay let me just say I really like this one too that looks like a pear that is so cute anyway so if you would like to receive notifications please hit the bell icon and you will be notified every time I upload a video all right everyone I wish you well I hope you have a wonderful day I hope you have peace in your heart and I will see you next time Ciao.